Hello everyone! This is RK Ara once again and welcome to my Architecture and Design YouTube channel. So, before anything else, I would like to thank all of those people who watched my first ever um, YouTube video. Um, it's all about um, how, how to review on a board exam. Yay! Marami kong salamat sa lahat ng nanood. And sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, um, please subscribe to my channel, Arki Ara Design, for more architecture and design ideas. Today, um, ang pag-uusapan natin is about colors. Paano nga ba tayo pumili ng kulay or color sa project natin or para sa bahay natin? Bakit nga ba mahalaga yung color and bakit nga ba dapat very careful tayo sa pag-select ng particular color na gagamitin natin sa space natin or sa bahay natin? Um, number one, color sets the mood of your space. It creates the psychological mood and ambiance that supports the particular function of a space. So, for example, um, pumasok ka sa isang room na ang kulay niya is like light blue. So, ano yung una mong mafe-feel? Di ba mafe-feel mo? Inaanto ka. Because the color is very calm and relaxing. So, that's how colors work. Since we're talking about colors, so let's let's go back to the very basic. Pero um, very short lang, um, hindi siya yung detail. Number one, um, primary colors or the basic colors. Ito yung red, yellow, and blue. Next one is the secondary colors. It is achieved when we mix a primary color to another primary color. Third is the tertiary colors. It is achieved when we mix a secondary color to another secondary color. Now, there you have it. Your basic colors. So, um, napakaraming colors na pagpipilian and nakakalito. So, ano ba yung mga techniques or steps or procedures na dapat natin i-consider kapag namimili tayo ng kulay. Number one, design team. Um, it is very important na i-define kung ano yung team na gusto mo. For example, you want Scandinavian. So, most of the colors sa Scandinavian team are all light colors and pastel colors. And then, um, rustic. If you choose rustic, more on dark colors yung mga gagamitin mong colors. So, there you have it. Um, define your team. The advantage of having a team is you are well guided kung ano yung kulay na gagamitin mo. Not only with your paint, but also with the accessories. Number two, color wheel. So, I always have this one, my Berkeley color computer, whenever I'm doing a project or whenever I'm selecting a particular color for my project. Kasi for example, si client, meron siyang preference na kulay. So, it helps me and guide me kung ano yung mga dapat kong i-mix and match na colors for my project. So, makikita mo dito, may mga details din siya. There's also an, an instruction here, how to use the color computer. Turn a color on the dial to a color on the computer rim. Make sure of these colors appears in the window. So, hindi ka masyadong mahihirapan and well-guided ka. So, you can buy this one in National Bookstore, Jolly's, or The Year. Nakalimutan ko na yung price na kasi medyo matagal ko na siyang bilhin. Number 3. Define the function of your space. We all know that we have different colors. Kasi each color has their own meaning. For example, um, meron kang computer shop na 
ang function is more on gaming. So, to invite more gamers na magpunta dun sa shop mo, you will choose um, red, um, color blue, color yellows. Mas attractive yung mga ganong colors sa mga gamers kapag yun yung gagamitin mo sa computer shop mo. That's why it's important na ibabagay din natin yung function dun sa kulay na ilalagay natin. Because colors have different meanings. Each one of them has different meanings. Number four, go to a hardware or any construction depot. Kasi we have different local brands like Davis and Boysen and many more. So, hindi ko na-elaborate isa-isa kasi medyo marami sila. Pero, yung dalawang brand na yan, yan yung mga mostly ginagamit sa mga projects natin. So, uh, they have this paint center na you can go there sa mga construction depot. Um, and they also have assistants na mag assist sa'yo kung ano yung mga color trends natin ngayon and yung mga bagong kulay na lumalabas kasi every year may mga bagong colors tayong lumalabas and mas maganda sa paint center kasi lahat ng kulay na gusto mo nandon and take note pwede ka rin magpatimpla ng sarili mong kulay doon kung meron kang particular na kulay na gusto mo for your space or for your project, pwedeng pwede. And also, ang advantage din na nagpupunta ka sa paint center, you can, you can ask for swatches na you can give to your clients, you can bring it home, uh, kasi masyadong mahal kung bibili ka pa ng mga maliliit na uh, sample para i-mock up or i-test. Pero yung iba kasi, mas prefer nila na may na-mock up muna yung paint or nagkakaroon ng paint test para at least when they finalize the color or bibili na nila talaga yung kulay na yun, alam nila na bagay doon sa space nila. Like what I've mentioned kanina, um, I always have my swatches. So, ito siya. As you can see, makikita mo yung iba't ibang paint colors dito. And kung ano yung finishes niya on actual. So, ayan. Hindi ko na kailangan bumili ng um, maliliit na paint for mock-up or for paint test. Mas practical siya and mas nakakasave. So, whenever I'm doing a project or designing, I have this one. Palette, may swatches and this one. So, this helped me in deciding on what paint or colors yung gagamitin ko for my project. Exterior man siya or interior. They also have this one sa ibang brand. Uh, you can you can put them together. For example, you want to, you want to have an accent color, and then ito yung base color mo. So there you have it. So napakaganda na meron kang swatches on hand na you can request. Kasi sa mga designers naman nagbibigay sila. I also give this one to my clients. For example, ito turn over ko na yung design so sa contractor. I make sure na mabibigyan ko sila nito or mag magagawan ko sila nung uh, yung code maibibigay ko sa kanila para si contractor may guide siya kung ano yung color na gusto ko, hindi lang yung perspective. Last but not the least, um, syempre, hire a licensed professional for your project because they can help you choose the best color na suitable for your team or preference. Isa na discuss natin kanina kung paano pumili ng color. I guess nagkakaroon na kayo ng idea on how designers work. It 
it's not just about uh, gusto ko tong color na to, maganda tong kulay na to, ito yung usong kulay ngayon. So, colors needs to work together. They need to jive with one another. Um, kaya, yung mga professionals, hindi lang, yun yung binabayaran nyo sa kanila once you hire them for your space or for your home. Kasi, they, they are giving you a solution. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-isip. Sasabihin nyo lang sa kanila kung ano yung preference nyo, kung ano yung team na gusto nyo. And then, they'll be the one to, um, to collate it. Imagine pagpili pa lang ng colors yan. Napakahirap and napakadaming proseso and napakadaming um, ways. How much more if you're already designing the whole space na kailangan maganda yung kalabasan and well-coordinated yung kalalabasan. Design is a process and designing is like a web. Everything is connected with one another from your wall finishes, from your ceiling, from your um, lighting, for your, from your furniture, from your accessories. So, lahat yan, you know, consider ng designer before pumili ng kulay. So, dapat everything will drive with one another kasi kapag hindi, it would turn out into an eyesore or makalat siya tingnan. So, dapat yung lahat ng yun kinoconsider sa pagpili ng kulay. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my video ko and marami kayong natutunan. Um, please um, hit the bell button for more updates and subscribe to my channel Arky Aran Design. And maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And abangan po natin yung mga susunod pa nating design and architecture ideas. Bye!